Hello and welcome to ITRM. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows in a single partition without creating any recovery partition. So what I mean to say is that if I go to my Windows installation and here it is and here in this particular machine the windows is installed in a legacy bios mode and there you are seeing that it has created around 579 mb of partition that is system reserve partition and in this partition it creates the boot configuration database and it has a windows recovery environment stored over here so um, i don't actually require it if i don't want to have multiple operating systems or if i don't want to have a drive encryption for my c drive so I can uh, do the installation now in case if you are having a Windows UEFI installation so if I take you to my Windows UEFI machine so this is my Windows UEFI machine here you can see that all the boot configuration database is kind of sitting over here in EFI so you have to have this EFI partition and then we can have a C drive where your all operating system is installed here also you can see that we have Windows recovery environment that is shown as Windows OEM partition. Here is your UEFI, here is your uh, Windows recovery environment setting. So if I want to have uh, minimum partitions created in Windows UEFI mode, so I need to have EFI partition and I need to have the, the boot partition. So let's see how to install this. So I have three different phases and I'm going to show you how to install these in a single partition using three different ways. Okay, so the first option is that whatever drive where you're going to install, just attach it to some other machine and then format it and create just one partition and then boot your machine with this hard drive. So that's what I have done. I have already formatted and created single partition and then I'll be doing the installation on that machine. So go ahead and click next install now I don't have product key and I'll be doing the Windows 10 home installation accept the license agreement and here you can see they're showing you just one partition I can go ahead and click ne click next and it will just start installing everything in single partition so this was the first way Second way is that if I just come over here, I can press Shift F10 and I go to disk part for disk partitioning. And here you can see if I say list, list disk for listing the disk, I have just one disk, I need to select the disk. So I say select disk, select disk zero. So you can see that zero number is here. And then I can say clean, clean the disk. And then I say create partition primary. It creates a primary partition. And then I can just simply exit, exit. And then if I refresh over here, you're going to see that one partition has been created. One primary partition has been created. I can go ahead and click next. And it will just do the installation in single partition the third option is that if i it's kind of a trick that i create a small partition then i further extend it so if i just click on new and i just say i want to create a partition of 1000 megabytes and click on apply and then i'm gonna click on extend and click on apply and yes and then you can see it has created a single partition on of 128 gigs and I click on next and it will be doing all the installation in one partition. So I'll just click on next and I'll be back when the installation is done. Okay, now so now I can see that the installation is done. Now if I go to disk management by right clicking here and select disk management. And there you're gonna see that I have just one partition. Uh, yeah, here you can see that there's a partition where we have the boot partition, boot also over here and there's the system partition and the recovery also, also sitting over here. So if I right click, and open it as PowerShell. And here if I say reagency slash info is gonna tell me that it is in hard disk zero partition one in recovery folder when RE folder. And if I say BCD edit, 
a boot configuration database is also sitting on the C drive. So uh, if I want, I can show you the hidden files. So I can go to C drive and select for showing hidden files, go to options, view, show all files and don't hide system protected files, okay. So now here you can see that we have the boot configuration database sitting in this folder and the recovery uh, partition that is Windows RE sitting in this folder. So that's how we can create, uh, we can install Windows in single partition. Now, if I want to do the same thing for Windows in UEFI mode, the steps would be pretty much the same. The only thing that you need to do is you need to manually create a EFI partition and that should be around 100 megabytes. So like over here you can see. So I'll just delete all these partitions and then I'm going to show you how to do that thing. So uh, shift F10 and go to disk partitioning utility and select disk zero and then clean the drive and everything is now clean. And now what I can do is I can create an EFI partition and then the remaining space I can give to the system. Now EFI partition could be in the beginning of the hard drive or it could be in the ending of the hard drive. So if I say create partition and then you need to say EFI for creating EFI partition then I need to specify the size equal to 100 so it's going to be 100 megabytes. I was giving error because it says that EFI partitions could be created only in GPT. So first of all, I need to convert this disk to e GPT disk. So I say convert GPT and got converted. Now I can say create partition EFI partition and then create partition primary. So if I do list partition, you can see two partitions got created. The first one is 100 MB and remaining all the disk I have given to the second partition. So that's all I need to do is I can exit from here, exit from disk partitioning utility, exit from command prompt and if I do a refresh, so if I have just the EFI partition that is system partition and this is going to be the boot partition so I just select that and click on next and then it's going to install everything on just one partition. So that's how we can install Windows in one partition without creating a recovery partition. So hope you like this video. If you have any other questions or comments, please post in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.